Today's story is called Inchworm's Tale. Long ago, Anant and his sister, Anika, went swimming. They swam all afternoon and became very tired. They were exhausted and climbed onto a large, flat rock to rest. Soon they fell asleep. A strange and mysterious thing happened as they slept. The rock beneath them grew and expanded until it reached the clouds. Anant awoke and looked around. Sister, wake up, he cried in disbelief. Am I dreaming or are we among the clouds? Anika rubbed her eyes. You're not dreaming, brother. This rock has grown while we slept. The children looked around and saw fabulous blue sky and wonderful white clouds. The children were so high. Anika felt dizzy. Anant searched for a way to climb down, but he could not find a path. Anant and Anika started to cry. They felt fear and dismay. Below, the villagers became worried. Where were the children? They were searching. They searched forests, meadows, rivers, and lakes. Then Aisha, the village chief, looked around and noticed Hawk sitting on a tree branch. Hawk, will you help us find Anant and Anika? He asked. You have sharp, watchful eyes and strong wings. They are your best features. Please use them to help us find the children. Hawk agreed to help and flew up into the sky. He tilted his head and squinted his eyes at the bright sunlight. When he was near the clouds, he spied the children on the rock. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. We will rescue you. Hawk was unable to carry the children down the rock, so he gathered lots of food for them to eat. Then he brought large leaves to keep them warm. Hawk wanted to make sure they were safe and unharmed. Hawk flew down to the village and spoke to Aisha. Aisha called all the animals together and told them that they needed help to get the children down. He asked each animal to use its most special feature to climb the tall rock. Several tried and failed. Mouse's teeth were strong and unique, but they couldn't help her climb the rock. Bear's huge claws were good for climbing up trees. However, they could not help him scale rocks. Mountain lion's claws were sharp and powerful but the rock was too slippery and he slid back down. Finally, a tiny voice filled with enthusiasm spoke up and offered to help. May I try, please? It's me, Tutok, the inchworm. Inchworm showed them all how skillful she was at climbing. Hawk volunteered to carry Inchworm to the top of the rock. Then she could lead Anant and Anika down the giant mountain. Aisha agreed to the plan. So Hawk carefully picked up Inchworm in his beak. Together they flew to the top of the rock where the children were waiting. Along the way, Inchworm planned for the trip down. It took almost a week for the three to climb down to the village. Inch by inch, Inchworm led the children carefully down the rocky slope. Every day, Hawk brought food to the children. Every day, he reappeared in the village with news for the villagers. Finally, Inchworm, Anant, and Anika reached the bottom of the rock. Everyone cheered and called Inchworm a hero. It was a glorious, splendid day. From this day on, said Aisha, I renamed the big rock Tutok Aula after the brave inch worm.